Hey guys, it's Marco here, back once again from My Color Screen, bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. Yes, I know I'm not Izzy, but don't worry, she might be back soon, so stay tuned. Now, a lot of people have been asking for this home screen, and I can clearly see why. If we have a look here, does that look familiar? Does it look like Ubuntu? Well, Lensu, featured on My Color Screen, is the pure Ubuntu experience for your Android. So, would you like this home screen on your phone? Well, here's the video tutorial, and as always, let us begin. As you can see, starting from our lock screen, we have the classic Ubuntu lock screen. Let's just see if we unlock that quick. Once unlocked, you can clearly see we have our home screen with our frequent apps that have got our calendar as well as our notifications. And scrolling to the side here, we've got our little icons that can open up whatever you want, as well as the Minimal Reader Pro right here. And if you're looking for something to search, we've got our search bar at the top that brings up anything you'd want to look for. You guys are excited, aren't you? Well, let us begin. So as always, I'll be using a stock launcher from here. I'll be using Apex. Sorry, Nova fans. I just caught, caught up with Apex. So if we go into Options, Apex Settings, we're going to go into our home screen settings. Portrait Grid 10 by 10. I wasn't too sure about this, but 10 by 10 works pretty well. If it doesn't work, you can always change it. Manage screens, you want two screens. Wallpaper mode, you want multiple screen scrolling just because you'll be using multi-picture live wallpaper for this screen. Finally, you want to hide the notification bar. If we go back, we go into our dock settings. We want to disable the dock, just say hide. Behavior settings, I recommend saying home key action, show app draw. So, so if you push the button, it'll open up your app draw. You can even use gestures here, like say for swipe up to show the app draw, just because there'll be no physical app draw icon. Finally, we're going to advanced settings. I'd recommend overlapping widgets. You might get away with it, but have it just in case. Cool, that is our Apex launcher complete. Now we're going to move on to the most important part, the wallpaper. Now, as you can see, this wallpaper wasn't really designed for my screen. If we go see these that have been provided, I think they've been provided for the HTC One X. So there is a way around that, and that is a quick one minute Photoshop tutorial. Let it head to the PC. Don't worry, it's going to be very basic as I'm still learning Photoshop, so that's the easiest way I know how. Okay, for this quick Photoshop tutorial, only things that we'll be needing is a screenshot that you've taken from your phone that can be anything you want as long as it's a screenshot as well as any image that you'd like to edit that doesn't fit onto your phone that has been provided. As you know, there's going to be three screens, so you're going to have to edit all three of them individually. So, all you need to do is open up Photoshop right here and we'll drag the screenshot onto Photoshop and just onto this gray area and it should look like this. Next, we want to minimize this and drag the screen that you'd like to resize back into Photoshop on directly on top of it and it should fill in like this. As you can see, mine's an S2 and it might have been designed for an HTC One X. So all you do is drag it so it snaps to the edges. Obviously, if it's a bit bigger, you're gonna have to resize it smaller and a little bit to the top. As you can see, it wanted to snap, boom. Select the tick at the top right here, like the done and there we have it. You wanna go file now, you wanna go save as, and then save it whatever you want. My personal preference is a PNG. Let's say you can just call it Ubuntu 2 and then click save and boom, just click OK. There we have it. Now you have to just transfer this back onto your Android phone. Nice and simple. OK, once you have put those wallpapers that you've created onto Photoshop back onto your phone, you want to hold down on the home screen, select wallpapers, go into live wallpaper and you're going to have to download the app called Multi-Picture Live Wallpaper and you want to go into settings. Now remember, if you've got more than two screen settings here, you're going to have to go into your Manage Apps and clear the data for Multi-Picture Live Wallpaper. So if you don't have any screens at all, you want to select the, the plus right here, and you'll go Screen 1, OK, and then Screen 2, then OK. Once this is done, we're going to go into Screen 1 Settings, Picture Source, Single Picture, find where you've saved the one wallpaper that you've got your icons on it, and you want to go OK, and now go back, and you want to go Screen 2, picture source, single picture, and you want to select your home one. Remember, you have to modify all of these if they do not fit. Now from here, you'll just go back and then transition type. Your transition type, you can change it to whatever you want. I just left it, I think I changed it to card. Just go back again and you want to go set wallpaper. Now it should look like this. If it scrolls and does some crazy stuff, that might be your Apex acting up. You just have to go into your option, Apex options, set it to single screen again, and then back to multi-screen and it should reset it looking like this. Great, obviously if you want your icons to be blank here, you're gonna have to set it yourself, but the screen size is a bit iffy for different screen sizes, so I just left it like this. So let's start off with this screen. 
So from here we want to hold down and select widgets. The widget shown here was Minimal Re Reader Pro. You do have to pay for it but it is a great app. You want to select MRP scroll. Great and it should appear like this. You just have to resize it a bit and you want to tap those three little tiny buttons, circle buttons right there. You want to launch your main app and you want to add in your feed. Cool, once you've added it you want to just select it and then you want to go into your side options here and you want to make all the headers or, or the backgrounds transparent. Text size you can leave, the rest of these you can leave as white. You want to hide the buttons, you want to hide the counter, maybe the date as well and then go update widget. And it should look like this, this is resize it and there it is. Now you can see you can scroll it up and down, pretty cool. Now we want to see we've got a little search bar there. So you might be thinking well how does it even work? Well I don't know about you guys but I added a desktop visualizer, made it a 4x1. As you can see it takes up the, most of the search bar right there. Now you just select the icon, you will make it a blank PNG and for your launch you want to launch Google search or whatever search you would like to search for. Cool. Clear the label. You can take off the the effect if you want and go OK and it'll disappear. But don't worry, if you want to search, just tap search and it brings up our search. Pretty cool. Now for these icons here, I'm just going to show you quickly. We're just going to say options and you hold down the home screen, widgets, desktop visualizer and you want a 2x1. As you can see, it, it fits quite well on some like there and there, but not the others. But don't worry it's still pretty close. If you still tap Skype and you change this to Skype, it'll still open it up. Cool, let's move on to our home screen. All right, for our home screen, we have our frequent apps here and it's quite easy to set these up. We just hold down home screen, select widgets and we're gonna choose DVR or desktop visualizer. We want a two by one as always for these. And as you can see, it fits pretty well. And you just, let's just start adding a few. I always like to edit them after I've placed them. Boom, and as you can see, I've added six right here. So now just to edit them, you're just gonna tap on one of them, go select icon image file. You wanna go into your Ubuntu phone folder. Let's select the camera one just for now. You wanna go launch, select action. You wanna say launch application, and we'll select the camera. Cool, clear label, take off that touch effect and go okay, boom. So once you tap that, it'll open up the camera. Awesome, now you just have to do it for the rest of these. I'm just gonna fast forward it a bit. And there is our icon set up. Next, we're gonna move on to our calendar, which we'll be using, hold on, if you select widgets. You wanna use simple calendar widgets. Doesn't really matter what you wanna use. So I always just go for medium. And you just resize it so it takes up most of the screen. I drag it to the edges here. Just so if you tap the side here, it brings up the editor. You'll go into a skin and you wanna go options, Alternative layouts, you can leave it line color. You want it to be transparent, day text width zero. Go back, go back again. Appearance, background color, want it transparent as well, sliding it over there. Now we just go back again and select the tick. Sorry that was a bit quick, but it's quite easy to set this up. There we have it. Finally, our notifications at the bottom, we're gonna hold down, select widgets again. And you wanna use the ultimate UCCW. You will just UCCW. Go for five by one. Doesn't really matter. You want to go into open use it because now you need to find where you've copied this folder to. I downloaded it straight onto my phone so I'll find it in the download folder and you want to select the one called Ubuntu Notif. So once that's selected you just have to tap the hand again and you can just resize it now. Boom, boom. You just have to select it again because you want to change your Gmail account. Select object, select Gmail. Scroll all the way across, select your account and select your label. I always go inbox, go back. There it is, boom, notifications done. This side is done. You just need to add that desktop visualizer at the top here so that it opens up your screen so when you tap that, it'll bring up the search. Finally, we're gonna be moving on to the coolest part, the widget locker. So from here, we're gonna bring up our app drawer. You wanna go into widget locker. Now I've already set it up, but don't worry, it's quick and easy. We just go into our options at the top there. You wanna go into look and feel, alternative wallpaper, you want that selected. You want to go to select wallpaper and you want to select the lock the Ubuntu lock screen one that you've either resized or just used straight. So you want to go into background tint, take off the tint, layout. I just went for 12 by 8 just to get my widgets in order. And then we'll go back again and it'll be set up. This widget right here, if you just hold down onto the screen and select widgets, that is the clock called clock JB, gives you that jelly bean effect. If you just resize it, as you can see, my date doesn't really fit in too well. 
but this is close as it as I can get for the screen. All I did here, as you can see, it says five messages received. If you hold down, select widgets, and you go into UCCW again, let's go for a three by one. You want to go into open user. As you can see, I've already installed the, the installed the skin, and I and you want to look for the one called Ubuntu Lock and select it right there. Just select it, resize it to the middle. If it doesn't work exactly, you can always just select it, go select object, say text messages, and then you can go position and resize it or position it just so it fits in the middle exactly. Once that's done, you can just go back into it, go options, hotspots mode on, just in case you bump it, it won't open up your UCCW. Finally, at the bottom, you want to add in a custom widget locker that's how I got it to unlock just by swiping you want to hold down and go custom slider you want to go theme I always use this theme just because you can you can make it transparent you go swipe it across icon gallery blank PNG select the blank PNG go save boom done great once you have placed it don't worry it hasn't disappeared it's just gone invisible you just want to hold down where you think you've placed it go resize and make it a nice resizable area just so you can easily swipe it let's just check swiping across unlocks it great there we have it home screen completed video tutorial completed I hope you've enjoyed it folks I know a lot of you people have been asking for the screen so I thought why not thank you very much guys for watching please subscribe to the my color screen channel as I'll be always bringing you more of these great Android home screens this is Marco from my color screen and I'll see you around next time